Welcome back to Timberborn and today I'm going to go through how to install mods in the game. Um, there aren't too many videos about on doing this so I thought I'd do one showing how I tend to do it. So we're actually going to get out of the game and start off in a web browser. Okay so the site that you want to go to is mod.io forward slash g forward slash timberborn i'll try and remember to put a link for that below and that's pretty much where i get all of my timberborn mods from and what we want to do is we need to download these first three mods these are the ones that you need pretty much to be able to use mods in the game easily so first one is a uh, bepin ex and the way that i download them is i use the download manual but download manually button so we're going to download that one um because i am browsing as a guest it doesn't know where to download it to so i'm just going to tell it where it needs to uh to do the downloading because uh yeah it's easiest way of uh, not showing all of the uh stuff that i have bookmarked so that's that one downloaded we then go in to timber.api and download that as well and it's going to ask me where i want to download that too so it, it should just download it to your downloads folder for you this is you know this is not the important bit this is just downloading them all and so we download those three files um Everything else we can do from in the game now, assuming mods are behaving well, it's worth, I guess, mentioning that mod support is not native to Timberborn, which is why you need these extra plugins. And you will find that if you play on the experimental branch, mods might stop working occasionally and all that kind of stuff. The next step is to open up Steam. Go into your game library and then on the right, on the left hand side, even right click on Timberborn, go to manage and browse local files. And this will open up where we need to put the bits we've just downloaded. But the easiest way to do the next bit is um, keep this. So this is the window that Steam opened for us. Open up another file explorer window and browse to your downloads folder. Um, usually it's on the the left hand side and you can just click on download and it'll download it'll go to there automatically because i did that as a guest profile on chrome i'm in a slightly different folder and the one that we want to grab is the bepin x zip file and right click on that and i would cut or copy it and uh, come over to the window where the steam opened and we are going to right click and we are going to paste and then uh, what we need to do is extract all and that will have extracted a bunch of files into a folder i'm doing it i normally i would use 7-zip i'm doing it without 7-zip so the process is a little different we'll delete the compressed one go into this folder select everything um cut it go back up to the timber bond folder and paste it and then you can delete this folder as well we now need to reload Timberborn um, and that will take a little bit longer. So one sec. Now we'll hit play and just do play Timberborn if it asks. It might because we've changed something about the game folder and another window will open in the background where it's loading up mods. And as you add more mods, it can take a bit longer to load. So just give it a bit of time, be a little bit patient, click start and then we can just click exit back to our two sets of folders we can now go into the bepin x folder and into plugins this folder will have been created when you started the game if you try to do this step without starting the game that folder won't exist so we go into there we then grab both of these we can cut them and we can paste them in here and then we want to extract these so i do extract all um what i would do is actually delete that bit before the slash plugins and then do extract and there we go so you can then delete the compressed version um, if you're familiar with 7-zip then just use 7-zip um but you can just go 7-zip extract here and there we go 
So either option works. I'll put a link down below if I remember again at 47 zip because it's much easier for doing things with these zip files and you're done. So let's reload to the game and have a little look. Now that we are in the game, you will see we have this mod manager option that's cropped up. So if you click on that, you can now see the mods that are available to install. Um, so what I would do is um, whichever update you're playing on, because that will obviously change as you go through, I would click on compatibility and select the update you want it to be compatible with. And then you can just download and install things. So we already have the Timber One API installed, so we will ignore that. But let's install a favorite of mine, the Ladders mod. So you can either click on it and go inside um, and it'll give you a bit of a description and that kind of thing, um, and then click download. Or from here, you can just click download. Um, and then you can choose whether you want it enabled or not at the moment, um, or you can uninstall it if you want to. So then just press escape. It will tell you that you need to restart the game. So press quit. Wait for the game to finish stopping and then hit play. Just tick the always use this option probably at this point and play Timberborn and uh, the game will load up and we will have our mod installed. So if we do a uh, new game, next. The random map, next start doesn't really matter i just want to show you that the mod has made it into the game i might do a follow-up video on um uninstalling mods um if mod manager doesn't work or in fact installing mods if mod manager isn't working because i have found in the past particularly if you're on experimental branches that mod manager doesn't always work doesn't get updated but there is our ladder so that's how you install mods in Timberborn. And I say I might do a follow-up video on um, installing mods without the mod manager, which is quite often what I do, um, which is a lot like we've just done actually with adding in the mod manager and the Timberborn API um, and uninstalling mods if things start to break. So, yeah, if you found this video useful, click the like button. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below. If you would like to see that follow-up video, stick a comment below. I've got another video coming up where I'm going to go through my favorite mods that I use in most of my Let's Plays. Um, that'll be the next day or so. And uh, I will see you next time.